All right, welcome back to the channel everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's Oscar and today we're gonna to be doing a little different video. So, um, I got a little bored on the weekend. I started watching a little Pawn Stars videos. Happened to find a video called Pawn Stars 7 Jackpot. Casino items and illegal cheating devices. And this is on their, um, basically the Pawn Stars YouTube channel where they kind of take episodes and kind of cut them together like the greatest moments or what exactly they're talking about. And I happen to find an episode where they have a one-armed bandit Las Vegas Club 5 walk into the store. And of course this is, it's one of the more rare chips I guess you could classify it because I believe, if I'm correct, there's only about seven of them in the world. And uh, was it more than half of them or half of them either had some sort of damage that they were um, the inlay had come off, or they were cracked and they were re-glued back together, or the inlay had been re-glued on, or somewhere around that line, if I remember correctly. And I know um, Spinetti's does have one at 5,500, um, but I'm not too sure as of any other one. So, happened to see this, I wanted to kind of share this, we could watch this together, kind of get thoughts about it, and uh, yeah, just, just have fun. So, let's get right into it. Or when you just need to take a little off the top. Not that I've done that in a long time. Hey, what do you got here? I got a 1950s Las Vegas Club $5 chip. Yeah, I'll give you five bucks for it. You mind how I look at it? Oh yeah, Chumley said, I'll give you five bucks for it. Of course anybody would give you five bucks for an old chip, but not just any Las Vegas Club chip. Five bucks. No. Probably give him three or four Chumley, bucks for it. shut up. I've decided to go into the pawn shop today to sell my Las Vegas Club casino chip. Supposedly there's only eight of them in the world, and I've got one of them. I paid a lot for this chip, but I'm trying to collect chips, and I'd rather have 40 additional chips from different casinos as opposed to tie And I like how this guy said there's eight of them in the world. So either there's eight or seven of them. I can't exactly remember, but it says he did pay a lot for it. I'm not exactly too sure what a lot is, but some people like this guy. It says he wants to have around 40 different chips rather than just the one that's more expensive. So, interesting to see. I have a lot of my money in one chip. The Las Vegas Club, which is still downtown, was one of the end places to be. In fact, it's one of the oldest casinos in town. Back in the day... In that little, in the 50s and 60s, they dumped their used chips in the Lake Mead, that's true. Also a bunch of other chips that probably got dumped in the Lake Mead. So uh, I think there's an article uh, was it? I think it was Mike Spinney. So, so Mike, um, I think it was somewhere in an interview or something he did that um, he talked about the chips getting dumped into Lake Mead. I can't exactly remember if he had a few of them, which I'm pretty sure he did. That guy had all kinds of sort of stuff. So, um, there's probably an interview, a little picture of some chips that got dumped into Lake Mead that were found by a diver. Obviously, when the chips get dumped into the water or they get water damaged, most of the water from the dye, or the, most of the dye mixes with the water, obviously the chips kind of become opaque and, and colorless, or they turn white, which is interesting. Um, obviously inlay chips, the inlays would probably most likely pop off, or be too damaged, you couldn't tell what it is, so. Hey, five dollars was a huge bet, and a person that bet five dollars a hand was classified as a high roller. A lot of the old school Vegas guys hung out at the Las Vegas Club. The Gods, Binions, the Stupex, they were high rollers. And there's a good possibility they played with this chip. This is one of the rarest chips available. I'd say one of the top 20. The last time I was reading a chip book, there was eight of these available. That, that's what I understand. Well, I think it's worth a lot of money. And it's interesting to see that the old man knew about chips and chip guides and, and all the chip books. So um, considering it works into a pawn shop, I'm pretty sure chips probably come in there reg regularly. Um, so it's good that he kind of stayed on top of that stuff and, and checked for values and, and searched the market and kind of knew what things were going to. And then this little interesting here, it says 100000 for a 1950s Tropicana Hotel $100 chip. Now, I'm not exactly sure what $100,000 somebody would have paid for a Tropicana 100, but who knows, maybe somebody did. Um, it's probably not, I, who knows, who knows? Yes, it is. Most of these ships are in rough condition due to the fact they were used up until the 50s. And like this, this ship, as far as being in the airtight, I mean, obviously you can't really see the edges, but as far as the face and the other side, it looks like in really good shape, so. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see what they 
do a little price guesstimate, but uh, it looks like it's in good shape. And I wonder whoever has this chip now probably won't get rid of it, or who knows what the price they would want to get rid of it for, because of course it's in, like the old man said, it's one of the top 20 rarest chips in the world. Um, I'd classify it still as one of the hardest chips to find because only just a select few people have it, eight of them in the world, and um, not a lot of people have the money to spend, let's say, eight, seven thousand dollars on a chip, so. This chip here is as good as it gets. You want to pawn this? You want to sell it? I, I would like to sell it. So how much are you trying to get out of it? Six thousand dollars. I paid you six thousand for you to put me in my grave. From what I understand, back a long time ago, the casino re-glued the center sticker on half of them. And this one hasn't been re-glued, so mine's in a little better shape than some of the other ones. Now, it's interesting that he said the casino re-glued the inlays. So, like I said, I'm not exactly sure if the, the inlays themselves got re-glued, the chips cracked and they got re-glued, or what's the deal with that. Um, as far as this one, it looks like it's in great shape. And it's, uh, as far as this side, I'm not sure about the other side. If they already showed the other side, it's in really good shape for its age. As far as, like, other ones, I haven't, like, I haven't seen any regular ones. I know the one that at Spinetti's has a tiny little chunk missing out of it, which on the web, like, let's say you go on the website, you can see the chip. It stands on edge. It's a little warped. But uh, other than that, it's in good shape, minus that little chunk missing. But let's see what they offer. Obviously, he wanted six grand. Um, usually what happens with the Bond Stars, they offer six grand and then they chop it down to like 25 or three grand, obviously, because they got to make profit, but we'll have to see. I was thinking about 3,000. Okay, see, cut in half. How about 3,000 in a trade? What do you want to trade? Um, 3,000 cash for this, plus those three statues right here. Frank, Sammy, and D. Uh, we're trying to sell these statues for 600 bucks. But I only paid a hundred for them. So if it's what I have to do to sweeten this deal, that's okay with me. Yeah, seeing the look you flipped the other side, that chip's in really, really nice condition. So whoever has that, whoever's got it out there, nice, nice pickup. And I like how he wanted the three uh, Rat Pack statues because obviously old man said he paid a hundred for him. He's trying to sell them for 600. So if he's only losing out on a hundred bucks on this deal, it's nothing to him. Deal. Right in my channel. I was expecting six thousand dollars, but I got to three thousand dollars cash plus the statues, so I'm happy with the trade. I'm going to take my three thousand dollars. I'm going to go to the casinos. I'm in Vegas. Rat Pack collectibles is always on the market. This chip ain't, and I'm so damn happy I might crack a smile today. This morning, a guy called. All right, you see, not everyone gets to see that chip in person, let alone own a chip like that. So. Las Vegas Club, $5 one-armed bandit. One of the hardest chips in the world to find, or at least let's put it in the category of top 20 or top 10 chips in the world. So really interesting that I've, obviously I was watching this over the weekend, but really interesting to see that it's on Pawn Stars. Um, I'm sure they probably deal with chips here and there on a daily, um, not too sure. I mind myself, I've never been in the store, although I probably want to go in and check what they have, but really interesting that they did have a one-armed bandit come in and it was captured for the TV and uh, they got to talk a little bit about history about it and uh, yeah it's just really cool so just want to make this quick little video if you guys did enjoy if you guys saw this or if you guys yourself ever ever been into the Pawn Stars uh, Pawn and uh, Gold and Silver Pawn Shop put that down in the comments if you guys enjoy this one please drop a like share this with your friends and uh thanks again for watching i will see you guys in the next one it's been oscar peace